tell them a little bit. I'm gonna have to have somebody put this together. <laughs> tell them a little bit. This is the craziness of the TED show and this Facebook Live insanity. Tell them how that came together, Legally Authentic Women. Okay, so I was inspired to do the show. I mean, there's so many shows out there. You guys are amazing. And I, I watched you guys and I was always really afraid to do Facebook Live. I don't know why you're so good. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a camera person. People are like, yeah, right. I'm like, I'm really not. I shy away from the camera. But um, I did lipstick with real estate. Linda. Linda and Guzman, yes, and Lulu. Hi, we love you girls. We love you um, girls. And it was, it was easier than I thought, right? And um, I loved their concept. And then we know Veronica Figueroa has um, Ride or Die. She's got the Ride or Die. Yes, the yeah. Power Couples of Real Estate. That's a great idea, great um, concept. And you know, I started seeing their concept and what they're doing, and then I realized that um, there wasn't anything out there like that for attorneys, right? Um, and although my main focus is attorneys, it's still like theirs, it's still for women, it's still to try to empower. Sure. But I generally just, in the beginning focused on other female attorneys who felt like you know they're that's a very stressful job so how are you dealing with the stressors of work with the stressors of home husband balancing children and above all for me the most important aspect of the show is are you finding purpose in life with what you're doing is it are possible? you finding purpose i love that question yeah so what, I, what's your what do you feel like your purpose is contribution i think to me the biggest yeah, thing I is being able word. to help people I, I, I say I may have not found my path, but I've definitely found my calling. And how I get through that may shift and change every day, but um, I have done so much growing and I think it would be selfish to keep my knowledge to myself when I'm able to help other women. How did you know? So we have a lot of people, we talk about purpose on here all the time. We talk about trying to figure out where are you at? What do you really want to do? Right. So what was the, if, if you can't identify mm -hmm. a moment, can you, can you tell us what was it or when, when was it where you go, holy God, this is my calling? Yes, I actually can. It was Date with Destiny at Tony Robbins uh, two years ago, where I, we were trying that. to uh, figure out whether or not I was congruent and why I wasn't happy with where I was. I was a very successful attorney. I've won several awards. Um, I was busy, so it wasn't an issue of money. It was an issue of fulfillment, and I, and I struggled with that. I'm like, I'm not fulfilled. Why am I not fulfilled? And, and all the stuff that Tony does, right? It gets um, right in your head, baby. You. It's um, over. It hit me in there. I was like, oh, because it's not just about divorcing people. What am I doing to give back? What am I doing to help others grow and find their own purpose? Right. Um, and to be perfectly frank, at that moment, I was like, I'm quitting law. <laughs> I'm quitting law. Well, because you go, <laughs> is this really my purpose? Right. Is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this really what I want to be doing because right. he really challenges you to the nitty gritty. You know, mm -hmm. you say you want to do it, but mm -hmm. do you really want to do it? Is right. this really your calling? So what I did is I started taking less cases um, because the, the law does provide a fulfillment in some ways, right? It does give you significance and does allow for contribution. Of course. It does help, um, you, do, you are helping families. Hands down, you're helping families. Um, so there is an aspect of that that I wasn't ready to let go of, even though in that moment I was like, yeah, I'm done. Um, so then what I did is I started shifting, taking less clients so that I can do other things that are more, more fulfilling, right? So I uh, started a group where I'm going to be able to talk to women and helping them um, find what I call balance, right, between everything, some peace, some inner peace, some inner um, center, centering yourself. I publish the book. I write articles. I've done, um, I have a group of girls with goals that we call them. Um, oh, on I the, love that. Um, it's a, I published a journal for set, a setting goals journal, a very simplistic journal that just allows you to set goals, created an accountability group where we meet and we talk about our goals and see and help each other achieve those goals. So um, I, I do that. So I, how, what was, why was it important to include, include the word authentic in there? Oh, well, because that's because, a big, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people throw it around, right? Yes. But people are very afraid of that word. When mm -hmm. I ask people to come on and be vulnerable and authentic on the show, mm -hmm. they look at me like <laughs> I am about to cause them the biggest <laughs> amount of pain because people are afraid. They're afraid to take the mask off. They're mm -hmm. afraid to be vulnerable. They're afraid. And in order to be authentic, you really do yeah. have to be vulnerable. They go hand in hand, in Absolutely. my opinion. And so why was that important for legally authentic women? Why was that an important part? Well, number one, 
I like to consider myself super authentic. I am, you see what you get. You right? literally <laughs> have shared some stuff yes. on stage <laughs> that I will it. never forget. So you'll have to go back yeah. for that video. Yeah, um, so uh. I keep it real. I do, I keep it very real. I love that though. So I think I, it's so awesome. Thank you. Um, so I want the same thing and, and in, a, in a field where conforming to other people's standards is so, I guess, what they consider ne necessary. Um, you know, as attorneys, you see us very suited up, uh, dark colors, hair is Well, up. and people are afraid of attorneys. Right, yeah. People don't believe attorneys can be authentic. I think right. that's a, I mean, and I'm not saying that that's not necessarily true across right. the board. But there is a small percentage who are. And, well, and I think they it. want to be, but they're mm -hmm. afraid like all of us mm -hmm. tend to be afraid. And especially when you're representing people, you have to put on your best poker face right. a Absolutely. lot of times. Right. So what I wanted for the group was to have these women who can be um, adversaries, who we see in court, um, who are just real people. You know, yes, this is our job. Yes, this is our career. And we do what we have to do for our clients, but that does not mean that you have it all together. Right. It does not mean that you're perfect. So showing your vulnerability and allowing other women to understand your struggles, your triumphs, and your steps to getting there allows them to realize that, you know, they're not alone, that, that they're, it's, they don't, That's they're not the, the only one. That's the whole point of mm -hmm. everything we do on the show. Mm -hmm. That's why I love what you do, mm -hmm. because I think so many people are out there believing they're all by themselves. Mm -hmm. Nobody has gone through what they've gone through. Mm -hmm. Nobody will tell them that they have come through on the other side mm -hmm. and they also were struggling because right. social media is a lovely thing, <laughs> but it's also a really dangerous thing if you're Absolutely. comparing your life to what you see on social media. Mm -hmm. And so I love the fact that you're willing to be vulnerable, you're willing to put yourselves out there mm -hmm. to let other women know and other people know yes. mm -hmm. you're not alone. No. You're not the only one that is going through what you went through. Mm -hmm. I'm relatively sure you've been through it, yes. I've been through it, everyone mm -hmm. who's involved in legally authentic women, which I love, <laughs> has been through it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So what's the ultimate goal with that? What the, do you want to do? The ultimate goal is just to be able to reach to people who feel like it's a safe haven for them, somewhere where they can go and really to, truly tell their story without judgment. Um, and that's one of the things I wrote on my pages, this is judgment free zone, please don't come in here with negative thoughts. Or comments because it's not congruent to what the message is so it's right. to be able to reach as many people not just women not just legal women people because men go through the same struggles that women go through amen and men are really bad about sharing mm -hmm. absolutely um, so people will message me it's interesting on the show because I'm a thousand percent vulnerable and authentic mm -hmm. to a fault probably <laughs> but dudes will actually message me and go god I wish I just had the ability to do that I could use that but they don't understand it's like you can you can there's nothing holding uh, it's you back. cathartic come on the show <laughs> mm -hmm. even make a comment on the show believe me when you make that first release and you go holy god I just shared my deepest darkest secrets mm -hmm. um, and now nobody hates me <laughs> right you don't you don't believe that people are gonna hate you for it they're not gonna do business with you that's mm -hmm. not necessarily true right. for the majority of the stuff be careful about what you share <laughs> some of it uh, but I really believe that the vulnerability and the authenticity mm -hmm. is what gets us where we're at. You Absolutely. can't you can't have a group called legally authentic <laughs> women right. and not know that you can come there. It's a safe zone. It's a safe environment. It's a great place to come and just be you. Right. And be you. That might be the first time that some of these people have ever been themselves Absolutely. authentically in front of other people. And it's true. And I I mean I did my first video on my own um, last week about me and. A lot of people see me and Gil, and they're like, oh, they have it together, everything's so perfect. And I was like, no, we're not. It's not perfect. There, there's a lot of work, like we were talking about earlier, that we have to put in. Um, and I think some people appreciated the realness of it. And that's what I want from my guests. I want them to consider being real. And if there are those people who are going to judge you and those people who don't want to do business with you, then guess what? You don't want to do business with them either. And the great thing is, so, you know, we're not live right at this moment because Facebook's a mess, but people can smell it mm -hmm. and see it when you are not being real Absolutely. on camera. I don't like to have anybody on here who shuts down. Correct. So I've had a few people, I've had a few guests that have shut down before we go live 
And I'm like, okay, you have a choice. I'm gonna ask you questions and you have to come out of that right. or you can't be on the show. Because you just don't, I'm not here, I'm not here to promote your agenda. Right. I'm here to promote so people can engage and feel good about themselves mm -hmm. and want to do the things that you're doing. So right. if you're so shut off that you can't do that, mm -hmm. this is not the venue or the platform <laughs> He's not a for person you. for you. <laughs> I'm not doing it. All right, so we're gonna share all of Lorena's contact information, how you can reach out to her, how you can get involved, how you can know and learn more about legally authentic women in. Yeah. I can learn more about her practice. <laughs> She's just an amazingly open, loving, kind human being who's not afraid, and I don't want you to be afraid, who's not afraid to share what's going on in her life. Um, any parting words of wisdom for them? Anything you want to share before we head out? I think one of the quotes that I like a lot is, um, everybody sees your success, but they don't know all the hard work to get there. Yeah. So understand that um, what you see, it took a lot to get there and it doesn't mean that you can't have it. Don't try to start where you see me today because it's taken me 10 years to get here. Um, just have your first day and you will eventually get here as well. But make sure that you keep a good group of people around you to help you elevate and lift you up. Yes, the mm -hmm. elevation and lift up. Mm -hmm. We talk about this all the time. You are the sum of the five people oh, yes. you hang around with mm -hmm. and if they're all negative in your ear all the time, I don't care if they're family, mm -hmm. you need to get rid of that circle. Absolutely, I agree with so, that. So, love you, appreciate you, you, you're amazing. Um, sorry that we <laughs> had to record this, uh, but we will have somebody put it together and we will post it as soon as possible. Um, we appreciate you guys, Lorena. Cardama. Thank you guys. Make and sure you she'll leave, be comments, here. leave comments, share, like, hearts, all kinds of beautiful things. All the good <laughs> hearts that we normally get. Yes. Oh my God, I forgot how much I count on audience participation. Yes, we need, he, uh, he needs engagement. I do, but you did a phenomenal <laughs> thank job. You, thank thank you. you. We love you guys. We'll see you, you back guys. here soon.